Good afternoon, people. Whenever you're watching this, it's the first painting I've purchased in eons. Great deal. Local artist. What, what? Make an impact in this world. That's what this box reads. Uh, well, it reads, make an impact. Now, I got this box. It was addressed to, I live with other people in a house. Done good. I was like, what? Then I looked down, oh, my name. I ordered shoes. Why, you may ask? Well, I wanted to get something woke. <laughs> Eco-friendly, which is kind of woke. But that has, well, that'll be another video. So, this is the box in which these shoes come. I will link to the website, the inside of the box has a blurb about wildlife conservation, conserve your teeth, still haven't gotten this fixed, I gotta do that. One thing I noticed with these shoes, they're super light, I can't wait to try them on, I'm gonna walk to the coffee shop after this, I have uh, clothes in the dryer, I do all that, walk, do, do, do to the coffee shop, see how they break them in. Kind of like skater shoes. I don't know how these soles are gonna hold up, we'll see. But, um, look at that. Cork, recycled rubber. Look at that. <laughs> Cork, recycled rubber. I'm not gonna edit it. I could edit it. I'm just happy I have a new microphone, check it. Mm-hmm. I think it was Warren Hewitt of Produce Like a Pro who inspired that purchase. This is from Rode, the company Rode. And how will these handle on the road? We shall see because the sidewalks uh, are kind of weird around here. Not as weird as where I once lived, i.e. non-existent. Um, also on the box, kind of cool. Got a bunch of bottles and... Uh, Recycling science, see that's gonna segue perfectly into another video for the Corny Cast, another episode that will be on the myth of plastic recycling. Ah, so yeah, this is uh, in the fine print. Yins can see, well you can't, but I can, recycled plastic bottles slash algae slash organic cotton slash recycled EVA slash cork, which you did see with your very own eyes, but blessed is he, she, they, who do not see yet believe, even if you don't have faith yourself. God has faith in you. Shoot, I messed up the lyric. My Carrera, no, I messed up your lyric, MXPX. I met someone from Bremerton yesterday, works at a local coffee shop. And uh, that also segue into freaking anti-flag stuff because I bought, some, I bought a flag that I'm gonna use in the background of videos, but uh, that's another story. And Justin Giever, if you leave the country, dude, someone's gonna find you and track you down no matter where you go with your cork. You're probably not using cork in your shoes. But you should probably put a cork in. Well, you haven't been saying much, have you? Because what is there to say? Man, just take down your stupid post on Instagram. That's obviously an utter fallacy, utter lie. And I personally, I look back at all that, I'm like, man, hopefully something can be learned about the greater music industry in general too. And I think this has a lot to say in terms of Brian Warner, is Marilyn Manson, my career was asked about him, oh, he kicks in, um, about, he was asked about Marilyn Manson on his podcast and I was personally kind of let down by the response but hey not everyone has done the deep deep dive or cares to on him but Wes Borland of uh the band Pillar I mean what's the the, the band Limp Biscuit was in Marilyn Manson for a period of time and he has a thing or two or had a thing or two to say about the allegations and uh well, I get in trouble if I don't say alleged Let's just say I think Marilyn Manson doesn't deserve a warm reception with his um, current comeback attempt. Uh, all right, so how did I start talking about that one? 
What does Marilyn Manson, what does Brian Warner from Ohio wear on his feet? Guess what? I don't care. This is what Brutus uh, brought to my attention. I said, okay, I'll check out the website. I'll see where you're coming from. He had uh, good things to say about this company. And that is why, as aforementioned, you can check out the link. All right, people. Have a good week. Have a good spring. I think this is the third, maybe the second day of spring. Ah, what is time? What is time? Oh, yeah, that's another thing. So I, I'm, I mentioned at least three topics for forthcoming CornyCast episodes. So get ready. Not only is the mic heating up, but... Um, the backgrounds are going to be heating up, and uh, yeah, the temps will be heating up here in a bit too. All right, bye.